Welcome back. Today's lesson is on adding and subtracting unlike fractions. And unlike fractions is basically just a fancy term for saying different denominators. Fractions that have different denominators are considered to be unlike fractions. Some basic stuff you should know before you begin are the basics of fractions, the parts, the numerator and the denominator, how to add and subtract like fractions, how to create equivalent fractions, what least common multiple is. That's very, very important for this lesson as well as converting back and forth between mixed numbers and improper fractions. So make sure you understand those topics and let's get started. Why is the denominator important? A lot of teachers want to show students how to add fractions that are not like, but they don't really go into detail about why they're doing it that way. So let's go over why the denominator is so important. The denominator tells us two things. The first is how many pieces we have in a whole and the second is the size of each piece. So here we have one whole and we want to make one half. So this here is going to be one half. For one fourth, here we have one whole, four out of four. We want one fourth. Now if we try to put the two together, we can't add them because we have to have pieces that are the same size. This here is one half, this here is one fourth, but they're not the same sizes so we can't put them together. Because when we have denominators that are the same, we know that we have pieces that are the same sizes. So what is the LCD? The LCD stands for least common denominator. And all the least common denominator is, it's the least common multiple for denominators. So let's take an example. Let's say we have 1 half plus 1 fourth. And 1 half our denominator is 2, and 1 fourth our denominator is 4. So what's the least common multiple for 2 and 4? Well, since the least common multiple is 4, the LCD would be 4. How about this example? 3 fifths plus 2 sevenths. In 3 fifths, the denominator is 5. In 2 sevenths, the denominator is 7. So what's the least common multiple for 5 and 7? Well, that would be 35. Since the least common multiple is 35, the LCD is 35. How about 2 thirds and 1 ninth? Well, in 2 thirds, 3 is the denominator. And in 1 ninth, 9 is the denominator. So what's the least common multiple of 3 and 9? Well, the least common multiple is 9. Therefore, the LCD is 9. Well, how about 5 twelfths and 7 eighths? Well, in 5 twelfths, the denominator is 12. In 7 eighths, the denominator is 8. So what's the least common multiple for 12 and 8? Well, that's 24. So the LCD is 24. How about 4 elevenths and 5 sixths? In 4 elevenths, the denominator is 11. In 5 sixths, the denominator is 6. So what's the least common multiple for 11 and 6? Since the least common multiple is 66, the LCD is 66. And how about here when we have three fractions with three different denominators? Well, same exact thing. We just have to find the least common multiple for 10, 15, and 30. And what's the least common multiple for 10, 15, and 30? Well, since the least common multiple is 30, that makes the LCD 30. So how exactly do you add or subtract unlike fractions? Well, there's three steps. Step one, you find the LCD, which we just went over doing. The LCD is nothing more than finding the least common multiple of the denominators that you have. Two, use the LCD to create equivalent fractions. And step three, to add or subtract the numerators. This creates fractions that have pieces that are the same size. And as we said before, that's exactly what you need to have before you can add or subtract fractions. So adding unlike fractions, we have one half plus one fourth. Well, here we have one whole and here we have another whole. We need to make this a half and we need to make this only one fourth. So now we have one half plus one fourth. Now we can't add them because they don't have the same denominators. In order to find the same denominators, we have to find the LCD. So the LCD is going to be four. Well, how do we go from two to four? Well, two times two is four. And we do the same exact thing to the numerator. 1 times 2 is 2. And that makes 2 fourths. Now, keep in mind, I didn't change how big the hole was. I didn't do that at all. I've just created equivalent pieces. Now, how do I go from 4 to 4? I just multiply by 1 and do the same thing to my numerator. And that's going to give me 1. So now I have 2 fourths plus 1 fourth. And that gives me 3 fourths. So here I have 2 thirds plus 1 fifth. Well here is one whole and I have three pieces. I need to make it 2 thirds. Now it's 2 thirds. 
Here I have a hole consisting of five pieces. I need to make it one-fifth. So now I have one-fifth. So now I have two-thirds plus one-fifth. How do I add? Well, I can't add them yet because I don't have the same denominator. Because I don't have the same denominator, I don't have pieces that are the same size. You can see that one-third is so much bigger than one-fifth. In order to add them, I need to create the same denominator. In order to create the same denominator, I have to find the LCD. Well, we said before, how do we find the LCD? We find the least common multiple for 3 and 5. What is that? That's 15. Now, how do I go from 3 to 15? I multiply by 5. 3 times 5 is 15. 2 times 5 is 10. Well, now I've created 15 pieces, and there should be 10 of them that we have. So this is exactly what happens. We now have 15 pieces, and now we have 10 fifteenths. Well, how do we change 5 to 15? That's going to be 5 times 3. Well, I have to do the same exact thing to the numerator, so 1 times 3 is 3. So how does that change what I have here? Each of my pieces, each of my fifths, is now going to have 3 in it. So here's how it looks. So now I've got 3 fifteenths plus 10 fifteenths. Take a look. Each of these pieces are the same size. Now I can add them. So now I've got 10 fifteenths plus 3 fifteenths. Well, what happens there? I just put them together. Now I have 13 fifteenths. Here we have a subtraction question. I've got 7 eighths minus 1 half. Well, I have one hole here. I have to make that 7 eighths. So now I've got 7 eighths minus 1 half. I've got one hole here. I have to make that 1 half. So now how do I subtract? I have to find the LCD. Well, the LCD of 8 and 2 is 8. So how do I change 8 to 8? Well, really nothing changes. I just multiply by 1, do the same thing to the numerator. I've got 7 eighths. This isn't affected. This won't change the way it looks. The, the size of the pieces aren't changing here. Here, how do I go from 2 to 8? Well, I multiply by 4. And I do the same exact thing to the numerator. 1 times 4 is 4. So now I've got two pieces here. But what's that going to look like now? It's going to look as follows. So now I've got eight pieces. And I've got eight pieces here. These are eighths. These are eighths. They're both the same size now. So now I can subtract them. What's 7 eighths minus 4 eighths? Well, let's see what happens. We've got 7 eighths, the 4 eighths there. Now we subtract the 4 eighths and we're left with 3 eighths. So that's what's happening. And all we're really doing is that we're keeping the denominator the same while we subtract the numerator. Well, here I've got 2 fourths minus 1 sixth. So here I have one hole that consists of four pieces. I have to make it two fourths. Now we have two fourths. Here I have one hole that consists of six pieces. Well, now I have to make that one sixth. So now we have two fourths minus one sixth. Well, how do I subtract? Before I can do anything, I have to make sure that I have the same denominator by finding the LCD. What's the LCD of four and six? Well, that's going to be 12. So how do I go from four to 12? Well, I multiply that by three. And I do the same thing to my numerator. 2 times 3 is going to be 6. So what happens here? We're now going to turn this into 12 pieces, of which 6 are going to be shaded. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And here, how do we go from 6 to 12? We multiply by 2. We do the same thing to our numerator. 1 times 2 is 2. So now we have 2 twelfths. Well, what does that mean? That means here we're going to have 12 total pieces, of which 2 are going to be shaded. So now I've got... 6 twelfths minus 2 twelfths. And what's that going to be? Let's see what that is. We've got 6. We take away 2 of them. And now we have 4 twelfths. Now, 4 twelfths can be reduced. Well, how do we reduce? We divide both of those by 4. And that's going to give us 1 third. So our final answer is 1 third. So now let's do some examples with just strictly math. I've showed you what happens. Now let's do it mathematically. We've got 3 eighths plus 2 thirds. Well, there's 3 eighths plus 2 thirds. There's three steps. The first step, find the LCD. That's 24. Step two, use the LCD to create equivalent fractions. 8 times 3 is 24. 3 times 3 is 9. Do the same thing for this for the 2 thirds. We've got 3 times 8 is 24. 2 times 8 is 16. So now I can add them, which is step three. I have 9 over 24 plus 16 over 24. That's going to give me 25 over 24, but that's improper. So we have to make it mix, which is 1 and 1 24th. Here, we have 9 tenths minus 3 fourths. 
Same exact process. We find the LCD. Well, what's the LCD of 10 and 4? That's 20. How do I go from 10 to 20? I multiply by 2. And I do the same thing to my numerator. 9 times 2 is 18. Well, how do I go from 4 to 20? I multiply by 5. 4 times 5 is 20. I do the same thing to my numerator. 3 times 5 is 15. So now I can subtract. I've got 18 over 20 minus 15 over 20, and that's going to be 3 over 20. So here's your pause and practice. Just pause and practice. When you're done, unpause the video. After a 3, 2, 1 countdown, your answer will be displayed. Go. So here are our answers. For the first one, 7 over 36. For the next one, 1 and 6 35ths. Here is 2 ninths. This is 1 and 79 over 100. The next one is 9 over 22. And the last is 1 and 13 over 28. A reflection. Fractions with the same denominator are called like fractions. We said that before. Fractions with different denominators are called unlike fractions. Denominators are important because they tell you two things. Remember, the number of the pieces and the size of each piece. The least common denominator, LCD, is the lowest common multiple for two or more denominators. There are how many steps to adding or subtracting unlike fractions? Well, there's three steps. The three steps are, one, find the LCD, two, use the LCD to create equivalent fractions, and three, to add or subtract the numerators as you requested. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for using Mr. Ace Math. Don't just pass math, ace it.